All right, so in uh, this video, I'm gonna show you how the compare instruction works. And I'm not gonna beat you up going through every single one. I'll give you a general idea. And then after that, you can just kind of, uh, you can kind of figure it out on your own. They all basically work the same at that point. You know, there's no real reason to get, uh, go over every single one. You guys know the alligator eat, eats the biggest one. It's pretty simple. So um, let me go ahead and I'm gonna set up a timer here. Yeah, yeah, we'll set up a timer here. And so I'll just grab a simple switch and I'm going to use this input here. Oops. Change that out here. Okay, just this simple switch right here. I'm going to grab a timer. Identify this is T4. All right, and I'm going to put my preset. I'll just keep it at 20. Okay, I think that's pretty basic. Uh, 20 seconds here. Now, to get to the compare, we just go to the compare bin right here, all right? And we are going to go ahead and start off with uh, the, uh, we'll, we'll just use uh, greater than, okay? Now, this is not greater than or equal to. So, the greater than or equal to is right here, all right? So, this is going to be my source. So, my source is going to be my T4 colon zero dot ACC, okay? Now, compared to our data manipulation and data transfer, our data transfers are outputs. Our data manipulations, our compare instructions and things like that are inputs. That means we're using the accumulated value. Now watch this. I'm going to go ahead and type in 50. Okay. Now watch what happens here. So this is T4 ACC. Here's my preset value. When my accumulated is greater than 50, it, it will activate an output, okay? I'll just make, uh, oh, simple. Make it this output right here, okay? I'm gonna come here. I'm going to reset the simulation back to nothing. And so what happens is, is when this is greater than 50, it works, okay? And again, the alligator eats the bigger number. So let me go ahead and hit this. I'm gonna download, run, and I'm gonna activate it, all right? So this will take five seconds, all right? And then, boom, it goes over. Now notice, and you can't, but it actually activates at 51, not 50. If I wanted it to activate at 50, I would have to use, uh oh I would have to use the greater than or equal to, okay? And we have all sorts of things, equal to, not equal to, equal to and not equal to can be a little bit tricky to use in timers because they're so fast, but there are ways you can use it, okay? And you'll see that in the lecture and in the lab, less than, greater than, all of those, okay? And I'm not going to beat you up about that. That's basically how they work. You can change this out with whatever you want. You can use it off the accumulated off of a timer, in analog input whatever you want, any word you can come up with. You could type in an N7 and just start putting random values in there if you wanted to, okay? And so that's a little bit about how the compare instruction works.